So we've been in, since the last video we rode around um, Stockholm and we're in Adult Spot. We met some other people in a van, it's really cool. And what you don't see is, it seems like that was just like a couple days in Stockholm, but actually we've been in Stockholm for about a month now. Um, three weeks. Three weeks? Just over three Just weeks. over three weeks. Because we ordered our tires and then we had a problem there to cancel the order and we'd already waited a week and then we ordered another set and then we got them. And we had to do a bit of... Uh, oh wow! Oh, it's nice to do. That's we had to do a bit of um, cutting and modification. So we finally got our tires. I was going to do a little reveal but we kind of wanted to leave Stockholm as soon as we could. Um, so we're finally on our way out after a month of sitting around in the most expensive city almost. Yeah. Um, heading up towards central Sweden. I can come back to some of the footage of us. Um, I got a few clips of us putting on the tires. studded winter tires or full winter tires only that you can't use in the summer. They're so soft that you would melt in the summer. But we couldn't get those obviously because after that we're going down to Eastern Europe and everything um, and it's hot. So we can't get winter tires. We don't have a roof rack to store two sets of tires. So we ended up having to go with an all-terrain tire. With the all-terrain tires... Oh, seasonal terrain. Oh, seasonal all-terrain tires. It's, it's, you can use it in the winter, you can use it in the summer and it's, it's uh, off-road, on-road kind of tire. You had two choices with the all-terrain tires. You want to say the choices are? Our two choices were BF Goodrich O Train KO2 tires or General Grabber 83. So the big review shall be. <laughs> okay, we just put the radio on. This is on the radio. This is what's on. Driven how long? Two hours? We're having a quick rest. Place, so wow, look on the left. Yeah, wow. wow, it's so quiet. Time to reveal the tires. <laughs> General Grabber in uh, 23575 R15. They come with a painted uh, text, which is pretty cool. Um, the only modification we had to do is this power front bumper. It was 
dragging. So I got a saw, like a metal saw for cutting plastic or metal, and I just trimmed this in a bit. Don't know if you could see it. That was a point. So that where is it? That stuck out to so maybe here, and it was just catching. There's, there's some clearance. It doesn't touch anywhere else. So we've got more around. What are the stock tire size? The stock tire size was two two five seventy on a fifteen inch rim. Yeah. So it's up one size. Go on size. It's one size bigger, and that's because the smaller size doesn't um, carry the weight of three point five ton, yeah. whereas this size does. Yeah. Just. <laughs> with the the, the well, it BF Good the BF Goodrich, the main reason we didn't get them is because they couldn't hold the weight. Basically, Unless we had a bigger size room. BF Goodrich of the same size as the General Grabber 23575 could only hold about 800 kilos yeah, per tire, which isn't so. as much. So that's why we ended up going with these. Uh, the camera battery died. So uh, just I'll hold it. There might be a bit of a fuel economy. Loss, but I don't know how much. We don't know how much yet because the roads and the highways up north to Sweden were quite, have been quite uh, up and down the way. So we'll see. And also we had. And it was a headwind as well. Even the buses were swaying around. So we'll have to see how it goes. Obviously, you might lose a bit of fuel economy and. But we're actually else? safer now because they're a wider we tire, which actually gives a bit more, uh, gives a bit more width. And actually, the van rocks less in corners because of how heavy it is. So it actually handles quite well. It does. Yeah. Nice to Even today in the wind, we were much more planted, bits. don't you yeah. think? Yeah, it felt better. Um, obviously, the tire is bigger, so meaning um, the speedo is off by about three miles an hour or five miles an hour, or about three miles an hour. So when it says you're doing 40, you're doing 43 miles an hour, but it's not that big of a difference that it would be. Yeah, we'll see how they go. They should last a while. I mean, I think they last quite long. Yeah. The old, the old tires were hard, like. Like rocks compared to these when we touch the two in comparison. So these ones are way way softer Which is obviously good in, in cold weather and for grip and stuff. I'm so, tired. so there might be a bit more friction I'm so tired that I thought that the pasta teleported I thought I left it here oh and then God. I saw it over there and I remembered Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. I'm just really quite tired. tired. We haven't eaten Starving. yet today and we got up kind of early So I think we're gonna relax here tonight. Also last night we didn't have a proper dinner. Just trying to, yeah, we didn't really have proper dinner last that we need to eat. Check that out. There's the road. I think we're going that way. We're going in, in that direction. Nice little place. And now the madness begins. Ah, time for dinner and dog food. These are gonna go mad. Here, you ready? Uh, be okay. careful, it's very full. Maybe I've got Lunas. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, give me Lunas. It'll be easier. I wanted to show Alfie. You think you can? This shame it's very rainy in autumn. Like the start of it was really nice and now it's just raining all the time. Yeah. 